Hello everyone and welcome to SOS Wrestling and to the fourth episode of the Academy series. I think that might possibly be correct, but uh, as you can see here, it is 2020, and uh, I'm just going to first go through all the awards um, of the year of 2019. So Wrestler of the Year goes to Naito. Company of the New Year is New Japan. Uh, I think that was the last one too. Team of the Year is Bullet Club again. Match of the Year is Shibata versus Okada. Show of the Year is New Japan Invasion Attack. So New Japan's doing really, really well. Uh, Dragon Lee 2, uh, fourth time in a row, I'm pretty sure. I'm really hoping that we uh, win this next year because I think we might be able to. Because, uh, not to spoil anything, but there have been, or there has been another signing. And uh, we've a I've added two more characters to the uh, game world. So uh, Veteran Wrestler of the Year is Tanahashi. Uh, female wrestler is Brittany Knight, also known as Paige. I don't know if she's still with WWE, but she might be. Uh, most improved is Ring of Honor. Independent wrestler is El Salbern... S Saberano Jr. I never heard of him, but a uh, manager is Heyman again. Announcer is Ronaldo again. Commentator is JBL. Uh, don't think he's going to be winning that anytime soon in real life, but... Uh, Good to see that in the game, I guess. Uh, referee is Jason Ayers. So uh, those are all the awards for the year. And I'm just going to jump right into mail because we, we've we had some things going on. So booking position, bu booking position, doesn't really matter. Isabella relocated. So it uh, d doesn't matter too much, but hopefully she can get a contract soon because she was not the one that signed the Shadow, also known as Joseph Grove and C4, which I still have not seen because I start did another T or have started another TNA save, and uh, I've gotten like five months into it, and I still haven't seen any any CPU like uh, rebrand someone. I've only seen it once, and that was with Wolfgang in WWE, Wolfgang the British wrestler. Owner position available booking. Adrian True offer. TNA did make an offer to get Adrian True. So that's kind of coincidental considering I just talked about TNA saves. So I do think that TNA, at least in this mod, is a good company for Adrian True to go to. Adrian True signed a paper appearance and uh, TNA signed Adrian True. Uh, body type has changed to average. So I think that's a downgrade. Hopefully, J Skies can get uh, a contract soon. Adrian True got injured in a partial Achilles tendon tear, so that might have taken him out for a while. Um, don't know exactly how long, but we might be able to figure that out later. And uh, J Sky is, is now available to work everywhere. So that's um, that's how the game world is looking like so far. Uh, I think we can just go straight to like looking at matches and stuff. Um, one person I know will probably have a lot more matches is Adrian True as he has been signed at TNA. And he is an opener. I thought he would be enhancement talent, but opener is definitely an up. Uh, like BH Fight, hopefully he got some more matches. J Skies, I'm really, I really want J Skies to get some more matches because he, he's, I mean, his skill isn't, uh, hasn't improved all that much, but it's, it's definitely still high uh jesse angel we can see if she maybe won the nxt title again justin wake this is one of the two new uh characters that i added he's going to be 18 um his 60s and 20 he's 60 rated or matt wrestling submission aerial uh selling and charisma so that's what he went with and for gimmick performance he went heel 60 babyface 20 cool 60 cocky 60 so um yeah that's how justin wakes looking levy Payne still hasn't improved all that much which is unfortunate like i said last episode levy Payne was one of my favorite characters and it's unfortunate that he has not improved that much but uh the shadow also known as Joseph Grove. And by the way, uh, I think this was Sunglasses who made this character. If you want me to change it to Shadow, like delete that, um, that, uh, what's it called? Gimmick or Persona, I can. I mean, it, I don't really care that much. But if you do, I understand and I will just go in and change it. 
So uh, if you do want that, then just uh, tell me in the comments. But uh, Rico Star is the other uh, new character. He is Puriso 60, Basic 60, Athleticism 60, Microphone and Charisma both 60. Oh, and Star Quality 60. And uh, his uh, gimmick performance is Babyface 30, Heal 50, Cool Cocky 60. And uh, the reason this is 20 and not 10 is because I didn't know what I was going to put it at. But, um, because I forgot what I put this at instead of the 60s. So I am going to change that to 10 so he will have the same start as Justin Wake. So it will be even. And uh, I'm pretty sure everyone else started at um, started at 10. Yep. So I am going to change it back to 10 as soon as I finish recording this. Um, so, oh, I forgot to go to the matches. Um, so Adrian True, uh, he has been signed to TNA. As you can see, match history. Let's see if he's gotten any bookings. I'm not expecting... Oh, wow. All right. So uh, Adrian True had definitely had an up year from last year. He had 28 matches in 2019. So good, good on you, Adrian True. Uh, he, okay, so he had four matches with Canadian Independent, and then he went on TNA, and since TNA has two shows and pay-per-views, and I think their roster is kind of small, he has gotten a lot of matches. Only seven wins and 20 losses, and I'm pretty sure one, two, three, three of those wins were on the Independent scene, so, oh, four. So he's only had three wins, and, uh, He's had three wins, one draw, and 20 losses in TNA. Um, probably tag matches, Soldier and True. Soldier and True. So I guess Soldier and True made a tag team. Um, yeah, because everyone else seems to be beating Adrian True. But highest rating, sitting 61, which is very good. And I didn't even notice. But his power 500 is 388 which is the best so far that I think we've had. I didn't look at uh, Jesse Angel's. But, uh, yeah, I think I think he might be the top. I'll look at his top ten matches, see which one it was a 61. Okay, so he had two 61 matches. One was Young De Niro Spud went to no contest with True, Kylie, um, and Cologne. So that was the draw, and Eric Young defeated Aaron, uh, Adrian True. Uh for a 61 overall on TNA Impact Wrestling. And he has had a fair share of pay-per-view uh, appearances. No wins just yet, uh, I don't think. But um, on to BH Fight, who is a Ring of Honor enhancement talent. Hopefully he's gotten some matches. Uh, well, I've said before, BH Fight is... Uh, I switched it up. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Onyx defeated Taylor in BH Fight. Okay, so he's had seven losses in Ring of Honor in 2019, which isn't bad, you know, you, you gotta start somewhere. And his highest rating was 52, lowest 34, so he's getting pretty good grades as far as the, the matches go. But pre-show, he had one pre-show match and the rest were on the main card, so I guess that's a uh, congratulation. And he did make the Ring of Honor anniversary, Super Card of Honor, best in the world, Death Before Dishonor, Glory by Honor, and Survival by the Fittest of the Fittest. Um, so he's only made one TV appearance, but uh, he does seem to be a regular pay-per-view uh, wrestler. So um, that seems... seem I mean, that's good, obviously. Uh, hopefully in 2020 he can uh, get his first win in Ring of Honor and go up the ranks, because he is still improving. Over last time, if I uh, am believing correctly, Isabella uh, improving. She just isn't being signed anywhere. And she probably would if she m moved her uh, uh, availability to the United States. But uh, there's only so many jobs in the British Isles. And Europe, but Europe I don't think, has any companies, actually. But uh, match history... She had one match, and it was a 10 rating, and she lost. 
So uh, not not having the best career up to this point, but hope she she's only 23, so I think she could be able to turn it around. And uh, let's see if Jay Skies has fared any better on the independent scene. Probably, because he is available in the entire world, you know. Um, I think, oh, has Jay Skies had a match yet? Because he's had two matches in 2017, and since then he has not. So I don't know what's up with Jay Skies on the independence. Maybe he uh, screwed with some people and uh, didn't get... I got on the wrong side of some bookers in those two matches, and uh, they just haven't signed him to any to appear again. That's what I'm going to go with. But Jesse Angel, uh, so it does look like uh, Adrian True is the highest rating rated wrestler we have on the Power 500. So congratulations to Adrian True and my friend Drew, who created him. I had to think for a second, but yeah. But also cre congratulations to Jay Z Gaming. Uh, for having the second and the first champion, because she was champion, NXT Women's Champion. Uh, hopefully we can see her get called up soon, because she has been doing very well in NXT. Seven wins, ten losses. Um, she's been, like, Lee Angel defeated Double Trouble. Uh, so she has had a couple opportunities to... Four, five, five opportunities to uh, get back the NXT Women's title, but she has been unsuccessful, but uh, hopefully she will be able to uh, regain the title, as she only had it for, I guess that's two months, but uh, she did move up in the Power 500, up uh, about 30 spots, like 25 spots, 24, something like that, uh, but on to Justin, oh wait, no, he's a new guy, Levy Payne, let's see if he was able to get any bookings on the independent scene. Uh, unfortunately, okay, so he's doing good on the independent scene. Um, I can actually check and see, because I don't, I don't know if I got that, or if I, no, I would have told me. Okay, never mind, I just went on a little random, uh, adventure with the words. I can't even talk right now, but, uh. He's had two wins, four losses, highest rating 27, lowest rating 14. So doing, I mean, probably the best of anyone uh, on the independents. Uh, like, and by independent, I mean, um, like, the companies that don't actually, like, aren't actually in the game. It's just independent. But he is getting booked quite a lot on the independents. So hopefully that uh, means that they're looking past the low potential, I assume, and... Um, you know they're they're just looking at uh, how he can perform for them. But uh, Rico Star right there and the Shadow will be the last person that we look at because he's the last one who's uh, participated in uh, 2019. And he's had a good amount of matches in 2019. Uh, only two wins, but two draws also. So it's not uh, he's not doing too bad. 13 losses. Um, you know, his two wins were, what? what is their name, Double Trouble, is that it? No, yes. Yeah, their name is Double Trouble, so they defeated uh, James and Dubois, and Grove and Atlas defeated Gacy and Facade, so he's only won in tag matches, but one of them was on a pay-per-view, at least one of them. Uh, yeah, the other one was on C4 Wednesday night, which I didn't know was a thing, but apparently it is. Uh, probably, uh, created in the mod. But, uh, so, yeah, that's, um, that's how, uh, everyone is looking match-wise. Um, you know, I, I would look at the titles, but I don't think it's changed much. Um, I'm, am going to look at end-of-year awards because I don't think it had independent wrestler on there and I want to see if we got it oh wait yes it did never mind because Le Levy Payne did qualify but I guess he didn't get it but um uh, first off um, I want to get thank you guys for watching this series and sticking with me I want to say sorry uh, for not uploading as frequently I, as I would have liked um, because school just got back in, and I've had to kind of focus on that for a little bit. 
but uh, hopefully this weekend I can get back on track with the videos. Uh, definitely going to bring you guys another one of these videos soon. Going to bring you guys Ring of Honor Restart. I hope you guys watch that if you don't, because I feel like uh, that series doesn't get as much love as uh, it should, considering I do put more work into that one. But, I mean, I can't force you guys to watch anything, so I'm just glad that you're watching this and watch it all the way to the end. So, uh, thank you guys again for watching. Uh, hopefully liking, uh, enjoying all that stuff. If you did like it, you know, watch when I'm going to restart all that stuff.